Talk Radio 790 KBC. Peter Tillman with Tony Granato, who looks like a very nice man, except that I know that you had, and I don't remember if it's now the fifth longest penalty in oh, hockey history. Man, oh, man. Fourth? What is it? How I long? I don't really know. That was a long time ago. I don't have any idea. I think it was a, but it was a, you yeah. sat out a long time. I sat out. Yeah, I got <laughs> myself in trouble every now and then. That's good. But that's what, has the sport changed that way as far as retaliation, as far as enforcement? Remember, knowing that I'm from Philadelphia. And grew up with the I don't Broad know Street if Bullies. It's changed. I think there's always, you know, let's face it, it's a competitive sport. It's a sport that uh, there's a lot of emotion and energy uh, and physical play involved in the game. And there's a lot of things that happen in a split, you know, split second decision. So there's always, you know, checks that you say, oh, geez, that's a, that's a check to hurt somebody, or someone gets a stick up, or something happens during a game where you probably wish it didn't, but that's, you know, you got to understand in competition and with how how fast and how competitive our game is, sometimes those things happen. So we're, we're at a luncheon for you. How does it feel? You know you're going to be in the ice in six hours against the Kings, a team that you played for su yeah. successfully. You're a big shot scorer. I mean, you, you, uh, that, was, that was your thing. Um, you're meeting all these guys that you played with. Everybody's smiling and laughing, yeah. but is it a fake smiling and laughing? Oh, no, 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 no. There's the, the respect I have for, the, for the, the players that I was able to play with. we got Luke here, Bob Miller, who have been part of the King organization, Nick Nixon, Rogi Vachon, uh, and I'll see Blakey, Sean O'Donnell, a ton of former players that you play with. When you see them, you remember the times that you had together and how, how much you appreciated them as teammates and their friendships uh, in the past. So tonight when the puck drops, obviously it's a different story. You're worried about doing what you, you have to do for your team to try and help them win the game. But, uh, but it's great to see you know, your, your old friends and your old teammates. I always wonder with hockey, because I know with baseball I see it, football to some extent, can a guy coming into a team make that much of a difference to spark the whole team? the right player and, well, and conversely sure. the wrong I mean, player I mean, hurt I mean, team. I mean that's why teams trade players. You're looking to acquire somebody that's going to hopefully add something to your team that you don't have and I think that's the objective of most general managers and, and owners. They need to bring somebody in that's going to spark something and bring something to the team that they need or lack and I think that that's as a player whenever you do get acquired in a trade uh, or you do move organizations you have to find a way to feel uh, you feel your way into it so you understand what's important. But is it when you're looking for a new player, though, is it just sparks the plays, is great, no, great on the ice, or is it somebody that you know has to fit the organization yeah. mentally, too? Well, absolutely. I mean, character and, and leadership and, and, and how he's going to interact with your players is certainly a big part of, of your team's success. So if you have a good chemistry going in your locker room and you bring in somebody that you're not sure of from a character standpoint, you're taking a big risk. Yeah, I would, I would say. So at this point in the season, you see where the Kings are doing. You know what you guys are doing. Yeah. Does it get fatiguing? Is there a certain point in the season when you can almost chart it where you go, this is the beginning of the push where it's going to well, get hard for them? Uh, points are so valuable. Like everybody's jockeying to get in the playoffs or for playoff positioning on whether home ice or not. The other thing uh, that comes into play, is like you just said, you're in your 60-game range now. So now you can see the light at the end of the tunnel where playoffs are only right. a month and a half away. And I think guys start to really focus and bear down and try to dig down to find energy to be, uh, be ready for the playoffs when they do start. What was it with you, with, with a high-scoring player like you, what's the opportunity that you see? What are you seeing? I almost wanted to put a GoPro on a helmet and what see what see? the opportunities are. I, I saw a lot better than I did. Now you look back on video, you always wish, geez, I wish I would have done something a little bit different or been better in this situation. So uh, I, my style of play was to go as hard as I can and be as aggressive as I can. I didn't slow the game down. I played tried to play at a pace that uh, made other players try to keep up with me or beat them with speed and energy. So I, I wish I was a better thinker and, a, and maybe could slow the game down like some of the you know, real skilled players, but, but that certainly wasn't my style. Did you watch a lot of tape? When you come into a town, do you watch tape to see guys? Well, now you do with the technology and the computers and how the games are broken down. You can watch every one of your shifts as soon as the game's over. Back then, you had a VHS machine. You'd have to throw the tape into a VHS, fast forward, rewind to find your shifts. And, and certainly the camera angles are different now. The, the, the replays are So you really different. have more you opportunity. So you got way more opportunity now. So it's do you, did, Were you excited? when you went into a different city and say I know how to exploit this guy I know how to I how think to as you get older you become more mature as far as your your knowledge of how other players play and you certainly can uh, have a book on them to try and and uh, exploit weaknesses you also I think the most important thing is you got to know their strengths you got to figure out how to neutralize their strengths because because our game is won by playing well defensively and if you play well defensively you get the puck and then you get more chances offensively. right well thanks for taking the time Appreciate enjoy the luncheon will do and we'll Thanks see you next time you're in town sounds good